Tonight at 6 on News 9. I'm Gary Orker, ready to take on Oklahoma's newest roller coaster. Are you curious to see how this contraption runs? Meet the Oklahoma man who built this ride of a lifetime. Tonight at 6, News 9. Working in the spirit of Oklahoma. We'll take a ride on a homemade roller coaster. So hang on to your seat and join us at 6. Get ready for the ride of a lifetime. I just figured, you know, I could, I could probably make something of my own, and uh, I just started from there. Meet the OU student who's built a real-life roller coaster right in his own backyard. News 9 starts now. You're watching News 9 with Robin Marsh, Kelly Ogle, Greg Kerr Sports, and Oklahoma's number one meteorologist, Gary England. There is only one way to describe it. It's a wild ride. Gary Horker out in Newcastle. What do you get when you add an engineer to a bunch of lumber? He'll give you the thrill of your life in his own backyard. You've got to see this one. The backyard roller coaster is coming up. Well, you don't have to go to outer space to experience the feeling of weightlessness. What Oklahoma guy is doing it right in his own backyard. The negative G's kick in and... Uh... And you kind of come up against the bar there. <laughs> we'll head down to Newcastle to meet the man who is coasting through life these days. That's next on News 9 and 6. Think of the last time you lost your stomach on a roller coaster, how you gripped anything you could, scared out of your mind. Did you ever stop and wonder, what kind of a person dreams up and designs something like that? Well, a young man in Newcastle is just that kind of person. He designed and built a real-life stomach-turning roller coaster in his own backyard just to prove he could. His ingenuity defines the spirit of Oklahoma. Gary Horker shows us why. For some, the slow rickety climb to the top is sheer torture. All roller coasters begin this way, but this one began as Jeremy Reed's backyard dream. I just figured, you know, I could, I could probably make something of my own and uh, I just started from there. So one day, this OU engineering student drew his and, dream uh, down on paper and made a trip out to the lumber yard and turned his dream into a plywood screen. And I thought it'd be neat to just be able to go out and, and jump in my own ride. No lines. <laughs> You know, every single board that Jeremy laid up here was only done after exhaustive research on paper, applying extensive engineering mathematical formulas to see if that thing would fly down the track right or to see if the track was going to fly apart. From there, I was able to determine the radius of curvature of the, of the drops and everything and then build a track design that would support that. His materials, wood, nails, and ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene strips. Jeremy, did you think you were going to die in your own backyard <laughs> the first time you did that? No, I didn't think I was going to die. Did you put your arms in the air like this and just go... Nah, I didn't go that far uh, no. either. Jeremy's working on some bugs before he rides this coaster again, and he's also working on a name. The screaming Jeremy, that does I don't know about that. In Newcastle, Gary Walker, News 9. That's amazing. Now, if you'd like to ride this backyard roller coaster, you're out of luck. But the engineer is hoping that this is just the first of many that he'll build and that maybe someday he'll design a ride for an amusement park.